Oregon saw its highly, highest daily case count since the pandemic began when it came, comes to the coronavirus details tonight. We can tell you tonight that Oregon has shattered it is previous record for new coronavirus cases, shattered it is previous record for that. Douglas County has 17 new cases tonight. There are 24 new cases in Lynn County, two more in Coos County, seven in Benton County, and 37 more in Lane County with 18 people hospitalized. From the U of O will analyze the recent election results this week. They are going to be analyzing the recent election results this week. In your voice, your vote, two professors will take a deeper look at the election results and discuss the meaning behind the votes. The Whitaker Community Dinner isn't, excuse me, the Whitaker Community isn't giving up on holding an annual Thanksgiving dinner. Connor. Matt Renee, the one page affidavit, 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 affidavit. Baby Nancy, the first black doll to have an afro and dark skin, afro, uh, afro, afro and dark skin, excuse me. Golf season. Coming up next on KZI 9 Sports. Over cooked, undercooked, burnt, dry, burnt, dry. The recall doorbells were sold between Jew and October. Jew and October. The Rockefeller Center now has its iconic annual tree up. It's a 70 foot foot, nor 75 foot Norway spruce from New York. 70 foot foot. To stop the steal. Right. Uh, election fraud. So for the, for the whole country, that all of our votes count. Because I've, I've felt like for years, in Oregon even, my, my vote hasn't really counted. I mean, I vote because I feel like it's important to do, but I don't feel like it really counts. Oregon Restaurant Association said that the logic involved with leaving these restaurants in the freeze. And we begin our team coverage tonight with KEZI 9 News reporter Kennedy Dendy. Kennedy? Matt Renee. Police were called here. A few hours away from a two-hour, two, excuse me, a two-week freeze. KZI 9 news reporter Emma, Ger excuse me, Emma Withrow joins us live in Eugene to show us how one gym owner plans to keep his source of income afloat without customers. Emma. <laughs> with Connor McCarthy live on campus to show us how you can sign up. Connor. Doesn't add up, Emma. And nine news reporter Kennedy Dendy live in downtown Eugene. Kennedy. We're at the end of a and now weather with Jean-Viev Melzer. Good morning. We are tracking some rain. We will see it this morning and then tracking more Thursday. I'm pardon me. Wednesday into or uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, but then Thursday we will see a reprieve from rain. For all the rain and the snow and the winds later this week. Real quick, warn people, or not warn people, alert people to your weather winter special. Just Marissa Walls in. But Matt, you left out the pumpkin pie. That is my favorite part of Thanksgiving. The dessert always so great. And we have a big pumpkin pie that's going to give the forecast for Thanksgiving this year. I'm still hoping it holds together, but as of right now, it's looking very promising that we'll have a couple days of some rain. The way the turkey's perched up on the cloud, I'm sorry, know, it's funny. It's so he looks cute. like he's trying to stay above it and fly above it or yes, just stay yeah, balanced. I don't yes. know. It's, he's very cool. happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can still expect poor air quality for the duck game on Saturday. Mm -hmm. More on that coming up on KZI 9 News. That turkey is so cute. I know. He's, that's why I was I hope you didn't hear me laughing, but he, I, I wasn't laughing at you. You have this while shaking his little turkey. He's, he's so fanny. He's just yeah. burning his calories. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Out there tonight, Matt Renee, more showers is still expected tomorrow. I love that little turkey every year. Oh, he kind of shakes his little moneymaker, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> moneymaker. He does. <laughs> now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Andy Moffitt. Oh. Spoiler alert, there's rain tomorrow, which of course is getting slow as it intersects with Delta Highway. I'll have a closer look at your forecast. Woo, a spider. I'll have more next. <laughs> Marissa Walls in. We are looking at rain across the area today, more than just kind of the light drizzle or mist or like my grandpa-in-law says, spit out there. Thursday and Friday, Matt and Renee, I do think uh, some relatively... Relatively quiet times out there. All right, again. To about the next hour or so, expect some steady rain to return. And also, don't be surprised to be woken up or maybe just, I guess, you won't necessarily be woken up if you're still awake right now. As we move into the next hour, you may actually see some flashes of lightning or hear some rumbles of thunder. It'll be another cold start, uh, excuse me, cold start. Mainly 40 to 50 miles per hour or 50 miles per hour. Quick look at your seven-day forecast. Drier weather coming our way late. 
Friday into Saturday. I'm Quavez and also dry Friday into Saturday. I'm trying to talk really fast too as I'm flying through the seven day forecast. More snow in the mountains, but we will see rain for the Willamette Valley. And trust me, I'll show the seven day forecast for a longer period of time coming up on. Marissa. Mm -hmm. Sunshine still for tomorrow, at least for about, mm, we'll say the first five sixths of the sixths of the day. Jeez, man, that's hard to say. I shouldn't even have tried. Night, but mainly though, excuse me, back in, as we move into tomorrow morning, forming tonight into tomorrow morning. Sorry, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm just excited about the chance for some rain coming in tomorrow. Beautiful conditions outside. It is chilly though. Unfortunately, in Roseburg, we're not quite seeing as much color. That sun, um, uh, the mountains, are, excuse me, are actually a little bit bigger to your west. So we haven't really have any more. Or excuse me, we don't really have any more of that sunlight. So when do we or would we see snow here? It won't happen this time around. I know. I feel like 2020, it's like, it could happen now. Yeah, you know, it's November. Why not? <laughs> right. Um, Very weathery. If that's, is that a word? Yes. It is a word. All right. All right. Real quick, Marissa, we got more rain or is it going to taper off? Yes. Things can, can, can tend to get a little interesting. Have you ever thought, what did the pandemic do to the adult entertainment industry? Maybe now you have. Well, it's not exactly clear how exactly that will be done, but, but they can't cancel Pac-12 After Dark. Pac-12 After Dark, After Dark Spot. And we are going to continue to see more moisture move through the area. Duck or beaver? Super spreader. She'll do it again. And enjoy herself. Oh. Woo! Let's go. Yes. All right. Very typical with these storms this time of year. I just want the thunder and the wind and the sounds. Yes, I love thunders. That's a we workout. Did, we did that in PE, and I, I couldn't get more than maybe two out of there. Sexual exploitation. So this is all normal. We're good. Yes, we do need this normal to see storm after storm roll through. So sexual exploitation. That's the one thing that always gets us from time to time. And get some exercise. Yeah. All right, uh, you should golf, Marissa. I, I actually good. do. I usually hit about 90, so that's pretty good. On the front nine or the back nine? Uh, <laughs> both together. <laughs> Anything you'd like to add to that list, Marissa Walson? Mm, no, because I'm sure grapple is already grapple, on there Grapple, your somewhere. favorite word. My favorite word, yes, when it comes <laughs> to the weather. <laughs> uh, do we have any grapple in the forecast? We do not. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is looking pretty good. We all need to appreciate the little things going on right now. Exactly. All right. I was thinking maybe, you know, one man's trash is another man's trash, but we're not quite that breezy tonight if you put the garbage cans out. That is right. As we went to tonight, I was wondering <laughs> where you were going with that. <laughs> tomorrow, we are still looking at some breezy conditions. So if tomorrow again is trash day for you, your trash bin may be knocked over. Rainy, rainy, rainy. Yes. All right, Oregon. Thank you. <laughs> for the property has left the owner with a burglary story that's bizarre in any way you slice it up. <laughs> and to be fair, the restaurant has a build your own pizza offer. Now, to be honest, if I was a thief, which I'm not, that's the type of thief I would be. A pizza. Oh, I would break into fast food places and just <laughs> take it all. Whip it up. Scientists have gotten back the results and again, confirmed the cub is a male. And vets say he appears healthy and strong and <laughs> vocal. Uh, that's on the zoo's website. Not the vocal part, I added that. And tomorrow, or not. Now that being said, and watching all the moving parts or refreshing their phone screens to no end, maybe every two seconds like I have. <laughs> Love that. All right, on a personal note, we are as stressed as you are when it comes to this election. It's been election day to election week. It's going to be election weekend. Do something that makes you smile this weekend. Grab a burger, maybe. Maybe get a good salad you like and watch some puppy videos. But do something that makes you smile this weekend. And now they're taking the U.S. Forest Service to find out. They're taking him to court. And you're saying we're not in winter yet? Nope. It doesn't <laughs> officially start until the end of December, so. If you say so. Yes. <laughs> but it's the same story, being diligent and vigilant against COVID. I think I got tongue twisted at one point there, and I, I switched diligent and vigilant and made it vigilant. It's a new word. It's a new word. We're gonna, it. It's going to get in the dictionary <laughs> next year. <laughs> okay, stay with us. Parade of politics. Well, I am live here at the Valley River Inn in the Hall of Holiday Leaves, where we do have, or excuse me, wreaths, not leaves. I'm so distracted. Also, there are a lot of holiday other things, just you name it, birdhouses. We saw the tables. There's also a lot of furniture. You're going to need the raincoat, and you are going to maybe need the rain boots if you want to, if it goes with your outfit for tomorrow. Trees, there are so many things to see. I think I've only shown you maybe, mm, I don't know, not even half. I would probably say maybe a third. 
He's not running for class president. 12-year-old Noah Smith from Illinois is hoping to win the best kids mullet competition. He's pretty proud of his magnificent mane, also known as the NASCAR for business in the front, party in the back. So what motivated all of this? Well, his mom told him he was going to enter. He made it to the finals, and if he wins, there is a $500 prize. He could spend a little bit of that on a haircut, Marissa. Yeah, he should. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> the mullet has its own weird style. Woody Musk, a nod to the popularity of the lockdown DIY. And finally, the smell of cheap aftershave and an earthy essence dedicated to Tiger King himself, Joe Exotica, star of the Netflix docuseries. The smell clearly didn't complement each other, but the company says 2020 was pretty off kilter too, so it's fitting. Each candle is about 20 bucks. I was reading that and I was wondering what scent did they grab for Tiger King, and that's perfect. That's exactly how I imagine that's the man a, spending. That's a good vote. Would you buy one of those candles? Mm, no, probably not. Yeah, no. I don't <laughs> want any memory of 2020 once we get into 2021. So I feel like that's what that candle would bring. Yeah, not, not doing that for me. The safest way to celebrate Thanksgiving this year is at home with the members of your own household. In Purdue Foods has an option for you if you don't want to cook. Thanks, Nuggets. They're exactly what they sound like. You can order them for about 19 bucks a bag starting today. And Andy, yes, I know you were already looking to buy these, but I have to say, I'm sorry, unfortunately. They're sold out. Huge bummer. I know. I checked. They started being sold at 9 a.m. and were sold wow. out by noon. So I mm. guess now you actually got to cook. Yeah, I'll we'll have to get that Mountain Dew cookbook that we talked about earlier. Mountain Dew cookbook and whatever weird flavors they have of yeah. anything else. You can sure. never say no to a chicken nugget. Am I right? I'm, maybe Thanksgiving is the one day we say <laughs> no to a chicken nugget. All right, Kate. Yeah. Uh, Lynn County fire crews in California just Hold a family heirloom from the ashes of a burned out home. We'll check in with the fire crews uh, on the fire lines coming up at 6 o'clock. Now to this story. Yeah, this is Thanksgiving. I bet you they rarely have leftovers. Are you cooking on Thanksgiving? No, I'm in charge of, of pies. I like to bake, though. I don't cook, though, so it's kind of nice. What about you, Robbie? Uh, my mom will be cooking my apartment for Thanksgiving. Oh. Just driving up. That's so cute. Aww. What about you? Uh, yeah. yeah, don't put me in a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening. It's not happening. Half a million people live to watch it there, and then 50 million people will get up and There's turn on their TVs while they're getting their turkey There was the, the Ninja Turtles were just there. Were they? they you Ooh. missed them. I don't think you were watching. I was telling you about getting your turkey ready. I can't remember. I don't remember the turtles' names. Oh, Leonardo, Michelangelo. Oh, my gosh, I'm blinking, and I know people are probably yelling us at, at us right now. Mm. Michelangelo, Leonardo. Anyone? Anyone? Producers? Get nothing. Nope. There's like <laughs> two more. <laughs> Silence. Oh my God. Donatello. <laughs> Raphael. There we go. Thank wow. you. Thank you. That wasn't she stays busy. connected. Ethan Jones has mitonic, excuse me, myotonic muscular dystrophy. Mitonic, mitonic, tonic. Thank you very much, Michael. Uh, excuse me, uh, backing up here a little bit. Mitonic, mitonic, tonic. He jobs that were, that Christian was allegedly harassing with Rachel, racial slurs. 22 ounce bags of Simple Truth chicken bibimbam, Thai style green curry and chicken tikka masala. Also, Cadence Gourmet take, steak fajitas. Tuscan tomato basil chicken and sausage, and then rustic toasted tomato basil chicken and vegetables. Among them, a $255,000 travel trailer. There would be a private jet links ride to a remote uh, Alaskan chalet. Uh, exotic jewels that cost up to $190,000. The book also has somewhat more accessible items like a limited edition Chanel timepiece and trendy designer puffer boots. Puffer boots from the store between November 11th and 22nd. If it winds up overcooked, undercooked, burnt, dry, you can submit a claim with a receipt, brief explanation, and a picture to a special website. The promotion is limited to a thousand customers, so only a thousand can mess up and get 35 bucks. Does that count for when people try to deep fry frozen turkeys like we see every year and then inevitably blow up their kitchen? You guys see those videos that they do year in, year out? Oh, yeah. Those are my favorites. And then we hear it on the scanner, and then we go to the house fire. So hopefully that doesn't happen again this year. Prepare. All right. Thank you for joining us tonight for KEZI. We'll see you back here tomorrow.